GST has created one nation, one tax, one market. It really sounds very nice. Then what is the problem for the people to get onto the streets? This is what one leader from the ruling dispensation has to say about the problems faced by specific sector of this country. You see, the uh, rate of interest, uh, which is why I had wanted Mr. Raj, uh, Raghuram Rajan to be sent out, is an instrument that affects the small and medium industries. Hmm. The big industries, they can borrow money abroad also. And in the United States, you can borrow for 2%. Right. So here, you know, being 12%, 18%, it's, uh, it's very cruel. Hmm. And uh, much of the damage that has been done by high interest rates has been to the small and medium industries, which produce bulk of the employment. So the employment cycle must start. And that can only start if you get the small and medium industries moving. That means the cost of capital must come down. Okay. Micro, small and medium enterprises sector is the lifeline of the Indian economy because it provides not only 90% jobs in India, but also it contributes 50% of the GDP in the exports and again in the internal trade and services. This lifeline is already working under a lot of pressure because of the high cost banking system available to them in India. The stringent GST procedures have contributed additional operational costs on this sector. This has to be seen in the backdrop of the cheap Chinese goods that were being imported by various people. That is why GST has become a ghost to a prominent part of economic growth drivers in this country. Because of stringent protocols, complicated procedures, the GST has become a true ghost to the micro, small, medium enterprises in India. Ghost in a real sense because if you falter to pay the taxes or commit mistakes your head will be blown if you pay taxes you will be served with the next tax slip this is what the ghost has to say you again why don't you give up don't waste your time in these jungles go back and enjoy the luxuries the government of india in consideration of helping out these small medium enterprises have announced some concessions and exempted some registrations. How far it will be useful to these people? We will take up that issue in the next part.